You went to tower cards, Snarkfest? See what this is? See, see what this Oh, wrong side. See what this is? Okay, this is a tower. Do you know what that is? Right? That's not a Dementor, Snarkfest. That is the Money Reaper. Okay? Now he's coming to steal your money, Snarkfest. Okay? Now instead of allowing him to steal it, you could either A, donate it, B, gift it in bits, C, gift subs, D, all of the above. Think about it. Think about when he comes to your windowsill at night. But suddenly, Victor's becoming this monster. Victor is fucking, he's in mid lane. He beats all the mid lane mages. Fucking bruisers don't exist in top lane. So what a quinky dink. Victor beats everyone in top lane. ADCs still semi suck in early levels. So Victor's able to fucking come out there. He's able to fucking blast his tits like he's Madonna. Because no one fucking deals damage. Everyone does, everyone sucks. That's the whole point everyone sucks so when you suck but victor's a pro at sucking he can make a he can make fucking holy shit he could make oh god what the hell is his name what is his name he could make mike pence come all right this guy can suck a dick so well because he sucked for so long outside of top lane when he was beating the bruisers with iceborne gauntlet and qmax and klepto and stuff all right ah oh god Red Fox is, uh, <laughs> Red Fox messages me the weirdest fucking shit. <laughs> <It's always laughs> this was the other day. I'm just sitting there and he, he messages me. <laughs> so gross. Uh, this ladder is just such a fucking a dumpster fire right now. There's so many people, like, fucking 200 plus LP that just don't belong there at all. So many fucking people that are 200 LP. It's the grossest thing in the entire fucking world. I, I would probably, I, I would say pretty confidently that, like, 80 or 90% of people that are over 200 LP don't belong there. <sighs> Alright, what about Jace? <laughs> where, where, do we, where do we think Jace is, guys? BBQ needs a new mid. Twitch chat. Twi Twitch chat? BBQ is looking for a new mid. Okay. Stupid shit. Like, um, game one against MVP. Silas is dead for 67 seconds, and for some unholy fucking reason, the five players amongst themselves can't deduce to just go bottom against an open nexus, and they're like fucking, they're, they're like hugging each other with like a fucking phalanx, like they're, they're gay or something, and like, they're all like fucking nut hugging each other, and they're running up through mid, and then arbitrarily Oriana flash alts and whiffs, and it's just like, <laughs> alright, well... This game should have been a win, too. Um, Ezreal continuing to charge up to his Seraph's Embrace. The what? <laughs> Seraph's Embrace. Seraph's? Seraph, don't a make me do F this. I'll do it. A couple of Fs in the... I <laughs> will do it. S-E-R-A-F-F-F. S. All right. <laughs> Rule R here in the mid lane now. Yeah. Trying to just push the wave in. It's met by Teddy. Um, minute and a half now only until... Yeah. Uh, until I thought Albert. the lull state was supposed to end at 27 minutes. What happened there? We're like in a no, four, no, no. four minute extension um, here. Hold on here. Just like me. extra innings or wait, something wait, like wait. that. I gotta confirm here. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a 34 minutes... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. 35 minutes and 15 Ooh. seconds. Oh, okay. Here's okay. What, I'm, what I'm reading. So set your clocks, guys. Yep. 35 minutes, 15 seconds. Yep. So. Just about four minutes away from the action. We're not, yeah. we're not too far away. So right here, you actually can't do what you did. So I, I want you to try to tell me why first. So right here, at the very beginning, right, we see this. Syndra's about to come in. Right? We hit her, and then what? Now what's wrong? Uh, I lose push. Well, that's not the only thing. What should Syndra do? 
Uh, probably just follow me. Okay, so here's the thing. You click here. You didn't click here. If Syndra's good, Syndra goes like this. Right? And then Syndra wiggles right here around the time that your Q would come off cooldown. You are prevented from going like this. These minions do not aggro her from this location. She zones you out inside of this pocket. You clicked here not knowing that she can do this play. If she's better and you click like this and you move up to here, you get punished even harder. You have to move here for confirmation that she didn't do this and instead opted for this. You actually have to hug this wall. You cannot move up within the corridor because you need a wide arc to return to the lane if the Syndra's sentient. You can lose the game off this. Pop your corrupting, walk into her and press W. Don't hit any of the minions. Yep. Don't don't auto her. Don't auto her. Don't auto her. No, don't auto her. No, she just got No, walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in. Walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in. Nice, nice, nice. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Throw the E at her, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, and throw the E. Pull it back. Pop your potion. Yep. Yeah, she's a fucking donkey. This bridge can't even fucking spell mid lane. Alright, so. Yeah, just ward. Let all the minions die. Oh, ping, ping Lee Sin, ping her. Ping Lee Sin, ping her. Zoner, zoner, zoner. Throw the Q. No, no, no. Don't hit the minions. Zone her. Stand up more to the left. You're safe. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. That bitch is dead. All right, so now, now we hard shove. Now we hard shove. Lee Sin, get the fuck out of the lane, you goddamn degenerate. What the fuck is wrong with you? You are such a terrible player. I hope that you're on the stream right now. Mother of God, you don't understand anything about your lanes. All right, recall. And as he's pinging that he's about to come, you just die. Because you're playing left pocket again. And I know why you're playing left pocket. You want to try to move here to try to make her go down here. Like the parallel thing. What you're not realizing is that your minion wave does not allow for this play to occur. But also, you didn't account for the fact that there must be a control word somewhere in this proximity. Right? So... You, you can't make arbitrary plays like this. It's not a part of the conversation. Ah, Shiba! Ah, sorry. Ah. Oh, Shiba. Oh, 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 I could put on puzzle. That's all. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a uh, you didn't even look at my OPGG properly or even read all my messages. I'm a jungle man. You say I need to learn wave manipulation and spacing. I've watched enough of your videos and played enough games and lane to understand. Can I please try again? I think this is the rudest thing in the entire world. When you're trying to tell someone that the generic advice was not enough. No. You are the equivalency of an overweight person work, walking into a gym and I'm telling you, can you please cut back on your calories and you will actually lose weight. And you're like, no, you know what? I've done that. I've managed my salads. You should see my tub of wear. I eat with a golden spoon, cause fuck the silver spoon. And you know what? I don't need any of that. I need you to show me how to work my core muscle groups. I am trying to show off my, my lats. I'm trying to show off my biceps. I want my forearms to shine. And I'm like, well, honey, you gotta, you gotta cut those calories first. And you're like, no, no, listen. I, I, I've seen the infomercials. I've seen the brochures, okay? That's not what I need. Yes, it is, dude. Yes, it absolutely is. You said that you've been permabanned, and I guess it's no coincidence that you're so stubborn that you, you think that the generic advice that I'm giving you, which is entirely applicable to you because you are an entry surface level 
example of what someone needs to do. There's nothing unique for you. You're not a high diamond player. You're not a master player. You're not a challenger player. Your thing is as simple as counting and cutting calories as an overweight person. And you refuse to do that. And you think that you've tried that, but then if you actually recorded the stuff that you're doing, you would have found out that you've had McDonald's for seven nights, you know, the last week. You had Taco Bell in the morning. You had a, a fucking Quattro key cheese quesadilla with double large Sprite and a fucking side of chili cheese fries. And you just conveniently leave that out because you had a Subway salad for lunch. What?